All right, guys, Mikey here for Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I hope everyone's having a great Sunday afternoon, depending on where you live. And guys, I got an awesome Mr. Olympia comparison video again for use today. And we're going to do it on 2019 Mr. Olympia winner, Brandon Curry. First 2007 Mr. Olympia runner-up, Victor Martinez. And in my opinion, through my eyes, Victor Martinez was the 2007 Mr. Olympia champ, not Jay Cutler. He was off in 2007, but I digress. And I say it all the time, bodybuilding politics just really fucking suck. Because Victor had that shit in the bag. But like I said, I digress. So let's see if Victor Martinez can beat out Brandon Curry, who won the Olympia in 2019 and looked really good, even though I like his 2019 Arnold Classic performance a little bit better. But I already did a video on Arnold Classic Brandon Curry versus 2007 Victor Martinez. So anyways, guys, let's just jump right into it. So without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, guys. The front relaxed. And I'm going to go with Victor Martinez on this one. His lats are flaring out so much more, giving him such a better V taper. Brandon's lats really aren't flaring out much at all. He looked a lot better at the Arnold Classic, man. I'm telling you guys, especially in the front relaxed. He's got a tight midsection, and he definitely brought his quads up. But Victor Martinez just looks a lot better. Victor's midsection looks unbelievable. Victor's quads look great. His chest looks great. And like I said, he's got a great V taper and his lats are flaring out super wide. So Victor's going to get the point. All right, guys, now we got the side chest shot. And look at Brandon Curry. Brandon holds a mean side chest pose. It's popping. That side chest is popping like crazy. His right pec is pretty big. His arms and shoulders look great. He's very vascular. He's definitely very vascular. Great side sweep to the quads. Uh, Victor Martinez, on the other hand, eh, he's a little shallow in this pose. His side chest ain't popping too much. And his chest is just very rounded. So I'm going to give the point to uh, Brandon Curry. Uh, he just looks a little bit better in my opinion. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the ab and thigh. And uh, for some reason, Brandon Curry's abs look a little sloppy in this pose. He looks so much better at the Arnold Classic. And I know I keep making references to the Arnold Classic, but he definitely looked better at the Arnold. That's because he wasn't 255 fucking pounds. He was like 244. He looks so much better in the 240s. But I digress. So uh, Victor Martinez is going to get the point. Victor has a sick ab and thigh. He's got great quads, great mid section. So Victor Martinez is definitely going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the front lat spread. And I tell you, Brandon Curry might have the best front lat spread in bodybuilding right now. There's nobody with a better front lat spread than Brandon Curry. It's just so wide. Then he's got a pretty tight midsection. And I love the way his chest is striated, kind of like Ronnie Coleman when he hits the front lat spread. He's got that striated chest. Victor Martinez just looks shallow in this pose, and he's got like a bubble gut in this pose, so Brandon Curry's going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the side tricep, and I don't know, guys, I think Brandon Curry was using a little oil in the uh, triceps and the biceps. Look at how smooth the tricep looks. It's not supposed to look like that, guys. He has no uh, cut to the tricep whatsoever. His shoulder looks great. His forearm looks great. The silhouette looks great. But Victor Martinez is going to get the point because his side tricep is more deeply cut. It's thicker. And the silhouette looks better, in my opinion. All right, guys. Now we got the rear lat spread. And look at how fucking wide Brandon Curry is in the front lat spread and the rear lat spread. So Brandon Curry's going to take this one. I mean, Victor looks okay. But Brandon's a lot wider. And Brandon's traps are uh, thicker as well. And I think Brandon has a better lower back. Victor has better hams and glutes, but really, that's about it. So, Victor, Mar I mean, Brandon Curry's definitely going to get the point for the rear lat spread. All right, guys, now we got the crab most muscular. And I tell you, Brandon Curry at the Arnold Classic and the Mr. Olympia, he looks very shallow holding the crab most muscular. Sort of like Dorian Yates. When he hits the crab most muscular, he looks very shallow. Victor Martinez, on the other hand, fills this pose out very nice. He's got them big shoulders and arms. Not like Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry's shoulders and arms look small in this pose. He's got a nice big chest. And his traps are a little bit bigger than Brandon. So all in all, I'm going to go with Victor Martinez for the crab most muscular. 
All right, guys, now we got the hands on the hip most muscular. And I'm going to go with Brandon Curry on this one. I think Brandon's uh, midsection looks a little bit better. I think Brandon just looks a little more aesthetic in this pose, a little more vascular. Uh, Victor's midsection's a little distended in this pose. Um, he looks good, don't get me wrong, but Brandon looks drier. And Brandon's midsection looks a lot better, and his quads even look a little bit better, even though you really can't see them in this picture. So, Brandon Curry's going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the rear double bicep. And I don't know, this was the toughest pose for me to judge probably out of this whole comparison video because Victor is a lot wider. Victor's traps are about as thick as Brandon's and uh, his hams and glutes are a little bit better than Brandon. Now, Brandon might have a little bit of a better lower back, but I'm going to go with Victor Martinez because Victor Martinez, this is a rear double bicep, right, guys? So we're going to go off the arms and the back. And I'm telling you, his arms look a little bit better than Brandon and his shoulders look a little bit better than Brandon. So Victor Martinez is going to get the point there. All right, guys, now we got the front double bicep in the last pose of the night. And you see what I'm saying, guys? Look at Brandon's biceps, okay? They look very uh, smooth. And if you go back five, six months before this at the Arnold Classic, his arms look nothing like this, nothing like this at all. Regardless if I'm going to disqualify him or not, Brandon, uh, Victor Martinez has got a better front double bicep. Victor Martinez might have the best front double bicep pose in bodybuilding. Really, it's unbelievable. Sick midsection, great V taper, big biceps and triceps, and a great set of quads. So all in all, Victor Martinez is going to get the point for the front double bicep. And if we tally up the points, guys, we got Victor Martinez with six and Brandon Curry with four. And that just goes to show you guys that Victor Martinez was on in 2007. He was on because he placed second. He should have placed first. Jay Cutler was off. And if you think about it, Brandon Curry was the 2019 Mr. Olympia winner, and he lost by two points to Victor Martinez, who didn't even win the Olympia in 2007, but I digress. Guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.